guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to... <laughs> That was a moment that happened where I was talking without knowing what I was going to say. Start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Welcome to a random favorites video. <laughs> if you've been around for a while, you know that I used to keep my favorites, like monthly favorites, strictly beauty. And then if every like, probably like once a season, I would do a random favorites to just show you some of the other random kind of just like lifestyle things in my life I've been loving. And I keep a favorites list on my phone just throughout, you know, the month so I don't forget anything. Um, and my random favorites was kind of like a lot and my beauty favorites I have plenty. So I was like, let me split this up just because this is a super random, random favorites. So this month you're gonna get two favorites videos, a random favorites and then more just like beauty focused at the end of the month, which I feel like it already is the end of the month. What the heck happened? Like, which I'm, I'm okay with it because I am so excited for Christmas this year, but it just, I just, it feels like it was October 1st yesterday and now it's like literally the end of November and I'm confused, but it's okay. The sooner we pass 2020, the better, you know? So I'm gonna shut up and let's go ahead and get into the random favorites. First up, I have some jewelry, which this video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa New York, which is a fabulous, fabulous jewelry company that I love. And I'm so excited because I am now technically an Ana Luisa ambassador, which I've never been like an ambassador for anything. So that's very exciting for me, but also more exciting. I'm like genuinely obsessed and wear my Ana Luisa pieces every single day. So I am just, it, it feels right. It feels good. So if you've never heard of it, Ana Luisa is a beautiful jewelry company that's very sustainable, but great quality at great prices. They don't really mark things up a ton. For instance, both set of earrings I have in right now are pearls and they are like unbelievably affordable for like real organic freshwater pearls so I'm in great quality so it's just like sponsored or not I can really attest to the quality of these earrings they are beautiful and affordable for what you're getting and the prices for the pieces start at $39 which is so affordable they have exceptional quality that they have never ever irritated my earring and I do have sensitive ears and some earrings can like really irritate my ears or I can just feel them in my ears I don't feel these at all they are so comfortable so lightweight and on a Louis is carbon neutral. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions, which I think is so cool. It's just beautiful jewelry from a very sustainable and like environmentally responsible brand. And I am just such a fan. So in my ears today, and I'll give you more of a close up, but I have the Joanne earring, which is kind of like a stud pearl, but then it has this really super cool dainty chain that kind of goes from the front of the earring to the back. And it's just like a stud piece. And then in my second hole, I have their mini organic pearls, which these are my new all time favorite earrings. I either wear them in my second hole with whatever I'm wearing in the front hole, or if I just want to do like a more laid back dainty look, I will just wear the mini organic pearl on its own, just in my front piercing. <laughs> the Joanne earrings are $59, which I think is such a great price for a real organic pearl. And then the mini pearl is $75. And I'm telling you, I have another set of pearls that is a piece of crap compared to these. Like these are incredible. They're 14 karat gold. They have real pearls. They are just stunning. But I also have some other styles. I truly love these because they're so dainty. These are the Cassie and they're kind of fun because they loop in through your ear and around. So the stud is at the front and then you have the cool like open hoop coming from the back. I love these, I wear these all the time. And then a pair slightly similar is called the She Said Yes earrings, which are so cute. They're little kind of like hoops, which I used to not be into mini hoops, but now all of a sudden I'm like, I see them on other people and I'm like, those are so cute. So these are the little She Said Yes ones, which I think they're called that because they look like a mini engagement ring. Like, look at this, this looks just like my ring, just in an earring form. And they're so fun. So like the stud is at the forefront, but then it's kind of like a mini dangly hoop. It's so cute. And these ones are $59. So again, I think you can tell I love these earrings and I'm really, really just excited to be partnering with them and being an ambassador, but also to share with you guys like jewelry pieces that I am loving. I know I only talked about earrings because that's what I'm into, but they offer more than just earrings. They have beautiful, rings, necklaces. They have super cool ear cuffs, which I kind of really want because I'm too much of a baby to get that pierced, but I, would, I think it would just look so cool. So probably gonna get that at some point. And it's a good time to shop because they're currently running an exclusive Black Friday sale. And if you want to unlock the offers, you can click the link in my bio, it'll take you right to it. And they're just, they're great. So let me know what you guys end up getting if you get anything. I know a lot of you guys ordered the Cassie earrings after I shared them earlier this year and I'm so excited. So hopefully you're loving those and we can be twins. And thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the earrings and let me know what you think. My hair bread that I decided to not wear has been sitting there the whole time. Let's, with another accessory, these glasses, they're very dirty. So 
You guys know that I'm pretty adamant about using my blue light blocking glasses because I really truly do see a difference in my personal eyeballs from if I have a full day of editing at the computer without wearing them and okay I f <laughs> I feel like that got confusing in my brain. I f see a difference when I don't wear them. My eyes feel more tired, a little more blurry and so I had a pair off of Amazon that was working just fine but they were kind of flimsy, not as comfortable. They would get these really weird rings on them even when I didn't touch them. It was really weird. It was like the screen was like burning into the lens. I don't know. I got these in my fall FabFitFun box, which also, um, they just sent me their winter box. I'm going to do a full unboxing video as part of Holiday Me because it is such a cute, good winter box. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, but these came in my fall box. These are by Nectar Sunglasses. This is from the Cobalt collection, uh, and I will link these down below. But I am obsessed with these. I like the way they look. I think they're cute. I love the tortoise shell. Sorry, I realized there's like a glare, but I wanted to show you what they look like on. But for me, they just like really help my eyeballs by the end of the day. They are not as like strained. But also at night, it's important to block the blue light. So you might even want to wear these while watching TV at night or if you're on your phone. I recently learned that like the blue light messes with the melatonin, the natural melatonin in your brain and can prevent you from like falling asleep faster. I've been learning a lot about sleep support because I'm trying to be better, I'm trying to be better at sleeping. I'm trying to like have better sleep support. Um, so I've been wearing these at night as well and I just love them. So I will link them down below. I've been wearing them a ton and I haven't even touched my other pair since I got these. I have a couple of random food favorites. This, you guys, this is a new seasoning from Trader Joe's. This is the everything but the leftovers seasoning blend. You can use this over potatoes, eggs, meat, vegetables, vegetables for a surprisingly good movie treat. Try it over popcorn or toasted nuts. Interesting. So this is a blend of onion, sea salt, yeast extract, pepper, turmeric powder, celery seed, sage, rosemary, thyme, and parsley. And it smells like, like Thanksgiving stuffing. It seriously smells so good. I'm complete garbage and I love the stove top box stuffing and that's exactly what this smells like. I love Trader Joe's seasoning, so whenever I see a new one, I buy it. Um, but this has been the most impressive one to me in a while. So definitely try this if you see it. I know Trader Joe's is finicky right now. Things sell out super quick and then they never come back. Another really random favorite is some Christmas chocolates. You guys, these are so good. And I mentioned these. Oh, I, I meant to talk about my gift guide week in the beginning of this video, but I forgot. Thank you to anybody who checked out gift guide week on my website. If you missed it, it's obviously all still there. It's at amylynbutchin.com. A plane just flew by and that freaked me out. To be honest, I, I fell off the bandwagon there in the end. <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to bear with me as I make these. I always take on too much and then like my mental health kicks in and I was like, hey, you need to just chill the F out. So I was burnt out on making the gift guides, but I still wanna give you two or three more as I keep thinking of things. But I feel like we still have time before Christmas. So um, more gift guides coming, but for now up, I have stocking stuffers, medium range gifts from $25 to $50. I have luxurious gifts from $50 and over, a gift guide for plant lovers, a housewares or home warming gift guide, and a Disney lovers gift guide. And I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I think they're all pretty great. I still would like to give you a for him gift guide, a best of beauty sets and a small shops gift guide. Um, So look for those throughout the week. And if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where I do like the swipe ups to them. As of now, I don't have a way for you to subscribe to my website, but I will get that going. So for now, just check my Instagram for when those are ready. Um, but I do want to get those to you. But in my stocking stuffer gift guide, because everybody loves to stuff some chocolate or candy in people's stockings, these are so good. And I'm sorry this bag is so loud. So last year, and I'm going to use it again this year, which is why I bought it, Target had an advent calendar that you re like fill yourself. And it's so cute. And I literally cannot wait to get it out. And I'm so happy I bought it because they brought it back this year, but it looks different. It's like not as cute. And I'm, I just like, was on the fence about buying the one I bought, but I'm so glad I did. So last year I needed chocolate to fill the advent calendar. I somehow wound up in World Market and I bought this bag of chocolate last year and it was so good. The chocolates fit perfectly in my advent calendar and then there was bunch a bunch left over that I ate. It's It was so good, I've been thinking about it all year long. So I drove past a, a World Market the other day, I stopped in, they had it again and I've already eaten <laughs> much of it. You guys, I was eating so much chocolate. I had a headache and I thought I was dying and I was like, 
let's just like think here. And I was just kind of going over what could have been different to give me this headache and it was the amount of chocolate I was eating. So I had to stop eating it for a while and then my headache went away. So now I can eat it, I just can't have too much chocolate. And I did look it up and apparently like for some people, chocolate can trigger headaches. So I guess I'm just one of them. Cause I, besides Christmas time, like I really don't have that much chocolate. I guess it's in my special cookies that I love, but like, I don't know, people love chocolate and I've never considered myself like that, but I, if this is chocolate, I'm a changed bitch. So the brand is Laika, L-A-I-C-A. This is online, I check. Um, so I will link it down below, but it comes with three different kinds. You get, I don't wanna open this bag, but I should show you. Well, I'm not going to. You get these tiny little characters. They're kind of in the shape of like a peanut. Those I think are my favorite because they are filled inside with white chocolate. It's literally so good. Then you get these weird looking stars, which are beautiful. They're probably my least favorite, but still delicious. They have some sort of like, just more chocolate in the middle. And then the little Santa round ones are full of like, crispies, like bunch of crunch, you know? The, all of them are so good. So I've been eating my way for, through the first bag and I got another one because I know I'm gonna want more. Um, but I seriously have been thinking about these all year long and I just, I love them. So if you want to try them out, if you're in a world market or I can link them down below, just trust on the quality of these chocolates. Moving on to some home decor. While I was in world market, I found these glasses and me and Bradley have like, well, I was gonna say a pretty strict, but it's clearly not that strict, but a rule of like no more glassware because I have a problem with buying glassware. I just think it's so cute and I love like pulling out a fun glass, drink your water out of or whatever. But I saw these and I knew he wouldn't be upset with me because they're freaking cool. So these are these like retro, I think these are champagne flutes technically, but I'll drink anything out of this. I think it's so cute. They did have them in um, like stemless wine glasses as well, but I thought this shape was so cute. We really want a bar cart. I want it just because I think it looks really cute. Um, and if I had one, I would put these on there in a heartbeat. And they just reminded me about of like the Carousel of Progress. If you've ever seen like the old original poster for the Carousel of Progress, it has like these colors and kind of like these stars on it. So it just reminded me of that. And they had the pink print and then the blue and green. So I got one of each, mine and his. Um, and I love them and they were six, five ninety nine a piece, I think. Super affordable, super cute. Would make a great gift as well if you're looking for like a housewarming gift. Somewhat holiday-ish, but would also work for all year round, I think. Something that I think is absolutely beautiful and I'm obsessed with, so I wanted to share, is this vase from Anthropology. I don't remember what it's called. I will have it linked down below. Um, but it just is like, first of all, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like half this height and skinnier, but it's such a good size for like a good bunch of flowers. I just have some like orangey yellow mums in there right now, but it has gold eyes all over it with eyelashes and it is so cute and it's got this like amazing texture to it and i've been eyeing this get it because of the eyes for a while and i wasn't gonna get it but then i was like you know what anthropology like i fall in love with things and then i wait and they go away and i was like i don't want to lose this so i bought it i believe it's 34 dollars, which is not that bad again would make an amazing gift and i just think it's stunning i like that it's fun like eyeballs but it's still like a neutral color of just like the cream color with the gold and i think it looks just stunning and great for every season as well um, so yeah, a really random favorite of a vase, but I love it. <laughs> I guess these count as home decor, but I recently, you guys, got some Kate Spade blankets. These are fleece blankets and they are so freaking soft. They're like as soft as my Don't Freak It's Faux blanket. Like they feel so good. So I got this one, which is Christmas themed and I absolutely love it. I got both of these at Home Goods for $16.99. And they're Kate Spade, did I say that? I think I did. So I feel like that's a great deal. I already, wa of course I washed them when I got them home from the store and they they washed and dried beautifully. They feel great. Um, So I, like I said, I got this Christmas print and then I also got this just like purple color. Um, I was looking to replace a couple of our blankets that were old and just dingy. You guys know we're looking for new bedding. If you missed that, I mentioned it in our um, latest vlog. I'll link it up in the corner. But like, I love Kate Spade. So I was drawn to it for that. But like, how cute is this print? of all the red and silver and green snowflakes. I just love it. So this will stay out obviously for Christmas. And then this is more of like a year round blanket, but it's my favorite color of purple. So yeah, I just wanted to share that if you're out of home goods, you need a gift, a under $20 Kate Spade blanket, bam. But I will find whatever like similar blanket I can to link down below if you don't want to go out to a home goods. And they're just so soft. And Ludo loves them too. Anything soft, Ludo's like always laying on top of, which I think is so cute. And then last but not least, but speaking of soft, these are incredible. So these are the Lauren Conrad, what are they called? I think they're called like the comfort legging. You guys know I love Lauren Conrad, or I think it's LC. LC Lauren Conrad at Kohl's, 
love it. And I got my first pair of these comfy leggings two years ago at Christmas time and I like lived in them all of, I call it Christmas break when I go home for North, to North Carolina for Christmas, which you guys, I'm so upset that that's not happening this year. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat where you just can't get home or you just can't see your families this Christmas and it's gonna be so hard and I'm, I'm so excited for Christmas, but at the same time, like that's in the back of my mind and I'm so bummed. Just trying to like work, you know, make the best of what I can, but I, I am devastated I can't go see my parents because that's honestly like one of my favorite weeks of the year. Like obviously the house on the lake is more fun in the summer, but I love it in the winter because it's like actually cold there. It snowed before and it just feels more like a wintry Christmas there. And so I always pack super warm and I got the pink pair. You guys may remember because I talk about them sometimes. I got the pink pair two years ago, literally lived in them all of winter Christmas break. And then I wear them all the time around the house and I kind of forgot about them or maybe they didn't release them last year but earlier this year I went to Kohl's and they had them again and I got two pairs so I got just like a heather gray color and then I got this I guess like darker gray I these are literally so soft they wash great I put them in a mesh bag and I lay them out to dry I don't dry them let me see what the instructions say though oh you can dry I just haven't. Maybe I'll try that though. But they're just so soft and comfortable and affordable. And so if you're in the mood for like some really cozy, comfy leggings, try these. I will link them down below. I am obsessed. I've been like living in my Heather Gray ones. We've been having really cold weather in LA. It got warm for a few days and it's about to go back down tomorrow, which I'm so excited about because I sleep so much better when it's chilly out. So once the chilly weather is back, I'll be back in my uniform of my LC comfy leggings and then a comfy top because comfort is key. <laughs> but okay guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this really random, random favorites video. I have some fun stuff coming up the rest of the month and then we're getting into holiday me, which is so exciting. So I'm like gearing up, be getting prepared. I'm excited. I'm ready. Next video should be like a fall nighttime routine. So look out for that. I have an empties video coming. I want to do like a frequently asked Q&A video. Maybe I'll try and get that up this month. Um, my beauty favorites, like I said, will be coming more towards the end of the month. And so yeah, just if you would like to stick around, I'll have my little face right here so you can subscribe. And I'll have some videos you can click right here if you'd like to watch. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. It really just helps me in the algorithm of people finding me. and also helps me let me know what you guys like to see. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring. I will have the link down below where you can unlock the Black Friday sale in their good sales. So definitely check that out. Also speaking of Black Friday, I, in case I don't get another video up by then, I will be sharing good deals on my Instagram stories that you can swipe up, like my favorite deals. And then also on my oils Instagram, if you are into oils, they always have a great Black Friday sale. So I'll be around on Black Friday, so be sure to follow along. Um, but okay, I'll shut up now and I'll go. Thank you again. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye.